Hello everyone, this is Laura. Today I'm going to show you how to bind a book in less than five minutes. So get some copy paper, cut it in half, grab a brown paper bag, and cut out a cover, which is basically the length of your little book, fold it in half, so you'll see what I do here in a sec. And um, you'll also need some thread, a needle, and a pointy object like a safety pin or maybe an awl if you have one of those. I used a tool from the Cricut. You just need something pointy, basically. So cover your book with some brown paper. Make five equally spaced or approximately equally spaced holes. I did not use a, a ruler in any way because it's really not necessary. And mark your holes. Then you can get a little bit stabby, but like in a controlled way. I wouldn't use scissors or anything unless your scissors are for embroidery and have a really, really fine tip. I also would avoid a knife because that also will slit your paper instead of poke. See how that's pokey? That's all you want. So whatever tool you have at home that does that, that's great. I used a clip to hold it together. I don't know that that helped me. Um, but basically you want to make sure you're poking straight through. I use too many pieces of paper. I think I use like 10. Um, but you can do it. You just have to mean your hole punching. Just mean it. So once you have that, thread a needle. I used some basic twine. I'm starting off without the needle threaded. That's a life lesson for you. Go down through the middle hole. And then you want to go up through the hole that is to your right. So you'll see suddenly my, th my, ne my thread will have a needle on it here because it had needed one. Oh look, there you go. So then you're gonna go down through the hole that is to your far right. Basically what you're doing is you're going all the way to the right and then you're gonna double back, going back up through holes that you went down and down holes you went up through. So you're just weaving kind of your book together. And you could theoretically do this with multiple pieces, multiple bundles of paper, have a bigger cover, um, and then just use glue to affix it together. So this is elementary book binding, but you could get really intense with this. Um, go on Pinterest or go on Google and look at DIY book binding. You can see some really beautiful things. So you're going down through the hole you went up through, you are going through hole number one again, going down, and then you're going to go up through the hole to the left. See how we're just kind of duplicating our actions, but backwards? Um, I'm going to put a link below that will actually have a diagram if that helps you, but really just watch me do this a couple times and you'll get it. Um, you see, you will have just lines there won't be any spaces. So you're going down through the hole next to it and then you will go back up through that hole that you went through. And then you'll have two things meeting in the middle. Now if you use a fine thread, which I did not do, it will have less of a bulky knot. But I used something that's like, I don't know, a cord that I got for beading maybe. I don't remember what it was. Um, you can use a waxed canvas cord, anything like that. You just want to tie it off and you can trim it. And if you're feeling a little less than confident in your knot abilities, dab it with a little glue and that knot won't go anywhere. Trim that off. And you can also trim your pages if anything is hanging over the edge and your book is bound. Look at that. You can decorate the cover if you want but you have learned how to bookbind today. You're a publisher now, ish. You have to write something in it though. There you go, all done.